I'm here in Chico, California at Canyon Oaks Country Club and uh, my friend Dustin and I just played a round of golf and had a fantastic day out on the golf course. The air is a little bit smoky here but if I look straight up it's pretty blue. Um, just before we head out I wanted to do a little bunker demonstration here. They've got a nice practice facility here and uh, I'd also like to thank their head pro Tom Pyatt for having us out. You know it's always nice to um, play a new golf course in a new place and uh, we had a fantastic day. If you're ever if you're ever in the uh, Chico area and you want to check out a really really nice golf course, um, Canyon Oaks Country Club, it's a, it's a great spot. Um, this will be an, the first video in a number of bunker videos that we do um, and so I'm just gonna go over a few fundamentals with with bunker shots. Um, first and foremost, the leading edge of the golf club here is the sharpest part of the golf club right here. If you were in a dark alley somewhere, this would be the area of the golf club that you'd be looking to use. Um, in the sand, that's gonna really, really dig. And that's a bad thing in the sand if it digs because your tendency, if you're using the leading edge of the golf club, to, is to have the club dig. And you're either gonna hit shots fat and they're not gonna get go far enough, or if you get a little closer to the ball, you're gonna hit them a little thin and they're gonna go flying over the green. So if those are two shots that you see often in a bunker where you either leave it in the bunker or it goes flying over the bunker, over the green, odds are that you're probably using too much of the leading edge. And so what you need to do is you need to use the bottom of the club, the bounce, because it's designed to slide through the sand. And so to expose the bounce of the club to the sand, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the club up a little bit, like so. And so it's gonna feel like you could fry an egg or something on the top of it, like a spatula. That way, as you open the club up, you expose the bounce of the club to the sand, and that will that's designed so that the club slides through the sand. So I'm just gonna demonstrate here how, people ask me often how far behind the ball you need to hit in the bunker. You know, is it two inches, is it three inches? The truth of the matter is, is if you open the club up and you use the bounce of the club, it actually doesn't really matter that much because the club will slide through. That's kind of the secret um, good bunker players know is that you actually don't have to be very precise in a bunker. And so there's a couple other things that I like to follow. I like to open up my stance a little bit right of the target. I'm a lefty, so if you're a righty, you're gonna open your stance and point left of the target. That way, as you open the club up, my club naturally points to the left. So by aiming to the right, now I can have my club pointing at the target. I'm gonna get it really, really low and really, really stable and about 80% of the weight on my front foot. And then from there, I'm really gonna to try to be aggressive through the sand. That's the one thing, you have to be aggressive. You can't baby it out of the sand. And so I'll just hit a couple shots and you can watch. You know, I hit my driver 280 yards or so in the air. And I would say that that's about a 50% effort. So. I'd probably hit a driver about 200 with that swing. So it's definitely not a soft swing. I'm taking it back about two thirds of the way and then really, really being aggressive through the ball. And then beyond that, um, and we'll get into this in the next video, the best advice in the sand that I ever received was from multiple major LPGA Tour winner, Julie Inkster, also out of Santa Cruz, California. And she said, you control the length of a bunker shot with the length of the follow through. And so you'll notice somebody hit a bunker shot and the ball will only go two feet and you'll say, what did I do wrong? Their swing will probably look like this. And you'll say, wow, that was actually the right shot for the right length of the follow through. So just notice if I wanted to hit one a little farther, those last couple flew maybe 20, 30 feet. If I'm gonna hit one a little farther that flies 40 feet, my follow through got up here and that one probably flew to the back edge of the green 40 feet. So that's probably bunker shots one-on-one. -on -one. I absolutely love hitting bunker shots and I'm sure you can tell by the tone of my voice that it's fun for me. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure to shoot me an email and from Canyon Oaks Golf and Country Club in Chico, California, I'll say peace out.